Hello everybody and welcome back to Assassin's Creed Origins where I took a little break because that was just too cool. Couldn't handle it. Um, but yeah, so we were, what was I? Whoopsie daisy. Okay, so I forgot. Okay. So hopefully I include it. Um, I wasn't looking. Um, but I've been talking for the last, like, five minutes, literally. Um, but I forgot I had muted it. But anyway, uh, we saw a shooting stars. Um, I, I had to go away for, like, 15 minutes and forgot to... I didn't, I didn't turn off the recording, so hopefully I said welcome back before that, because I'm pretty sure I did. Um... I'm pretty sure I did a whole, hey, welcome back, blah, 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 blah thing. So anyway, um, and maybe you saw it just now, but my sword does some really cool things in the dark. Um, yeah, because I was noticing when I fought those snakes and I actually screamed, so maybe it's better that you guys didn't hear it. Um, but, uh, but I thought those snakes were uh, piles of rope and they do a heck of a lot of damage to you, which is really unfair. Um, but my new sword is cool, and we're doing the first blood quest that I tracked on the map um, because it, I thought it sounded cool, and I want to see how my swords do in battle. But yeah, anyway, sorry, this thing's... Oh, I got beans or something? Um, sorry about that. I also forgot to turn the mic back on, apparently, in the midst of all my troubles of trying to get things going. But yeah. Must be behind here. Um, anyway, I had to go away for a little bit at the end of the last one because I was just oopsie. <laughs> this doesn't help me? I don't know. Hmm. Anyway, this one's this is a bit of a scuffed start, but you know, it is what it is. Oops. I missed the hint it gave me. Dang it. Um. Man, I gotta look it up. I gotta look up this, too. It makes me sad. Okay, so... I am maybe supposed... Oops. What is with the weird lighting? There's... Apparently this quest is weird. There's like two entrances or something. And this is the entrance we were supposed to be in first. There's my Chocobo. There's the other entrance, okay. And we're supposed to like break a pot. No, I'm trying to. Yeah. Should be clear now. Should be clear now. What? Apparently, we have to do it this way first. We have to break that pot or something for some reason. I'm not sure why. I try not to look too far ahead. I don't try. I try to look at parts where I'm stuck and nothing past that, and then I try to, you know, figure it out on my own. But. Oh, my my dear good man, we need to find you. We need to find a legendary outfit, even though this does look pretty stunning. Where 
use the okay, it's on the right side. Oh. Off we go. I can't believe we just got legendary gear just by going to a quest. We didn't even have to do anything. Besides, so we had to solve a puzzle, and it was a really hard puzzle, and I couldn't figure it out. So I guess I did cheat a little bit by looking it up, but. I just wanted to know what this stuff was. And I have no idea what the number 15 had to do with any of it. Unless it was, oh, it was Final Fantasy 15. Oh, was it? Was it Final Fantasy 15? I thought it was weird that they were in Roman numerals. And I told you that the characters looked odd. I bet you those are Final Fantasy characters, like the uh, like the ones in the, the tablets. Tablety looking things. What's in here? Oh, okay, I see. Oh, so this I could I have not This is where my quest began. Okay, I wasn't sure. Someone has taken great care of this chamber. I wasn't sure there was something about like maybe this was where Bayek maybe first killed the guy, one of the guys, he had to, like, it was his first kill or something, but I couldn't, I wasn't sure if there were just two quests named First Blood or what. Okay, so this is where his quest began. This is where he killed his first target. Who was... Let's see, it was... Okay, the heron. He killed the heron here. Which we saw in a cutscene. So we can go through that wall, it looks like. Is there stuff I missed over there? Anyway, okay. My life was undone here. Yet now there's a shrine, a memorial where none should be. Hmm. Could this be for Rutjek? None could care for that snake that began this twisted quest, could they? Huh. Okay. So this is a big deal. Wow, this is this feels like a pretty big deal. Rujek Saro. I marked his name off my list with this. Now it sits on the ground, forgotten. Yeah, cuz he like carved it out of his skin. Onwards. Someone has sealed this room. The smell of the blood I spilled still lingers here. Okay. A mummified heron. For resurrection. No. Whoever did this must have known of Rudjek's place in the order. Okay. This is really cool that we're going back to a thing that we didn't even really get to do as a player, um, but sort of like going back to his first kill, and maybe maybe there's going to be something more in depth, like somebody who cared about this heron guy or something, or who wanted his power or something, something, something to make it more interesting. Rudjek does not deserve a tomb, but this is an insult. This tomb was made for a pharaoh. Whoever did this has defiled this place. So, this is where he's buried. Okay. Oh, she's snakey! Snake, snake, snake. Yikes. Can I pick up my torch again? The mask. mask. I barely remember what happened after I stabbed him. This room has told me all I need to know. What do you mean? What? Why? What happened? This place was a beginning for me, and an end for Rujek. The arrow marked both of those things. After I stabbed that bastard, things went dark. When I came back to myself. 
Rujek was dead. Rujek's body should have been left to rot. He has been laid to rest with respect by someone who wanted him to enter the Duat prepared. Whoever buried him also left this heron mummy to honor Rujek with his God's damned namesake in the afterlife. They then returned here to pay respect to Rujek. If these candles are any indication. No matter what, I know Rujek's heart was found lacking. That bastard suffers in the afterlife, no matter what was done here. Yeah. You can do as much as you want, you but the heart will day. be weighed. But I do not regret my actions. The feather will always be lighter than my heart. Hmm. Interesting way to look at it. Because if, if, if you don't regret your actions, will your heart be lighter? Like, that doesn't seem like, because it seems like if, if those guys, the bad guys, don't regret it, you know? Would they be given a free pass? I mean, what he's doing is is sort of justice, but also vengeance. What Bayek is doing. Just a regular... I want to see what that's about. And I would like to see what this is about, if I can. I think those are all in the same... No, they're not. Um... Area? And oh, this is in Fayum, which is a little bit higher of a level. So maybe I won't. Yeah, let's go check out this other one. Yeah, apparently I had to break that pot, otherwise I wouldn't have been able to move the thing. <laughs> Alright. Chocobo! Through the desert we wander with the gods' blessings upon our backs and basically riding the gods' blessing also. I guess if I'm gonna stick to the road, it's gonna take a little longer. But you run into troubles if you don't do that. Like, um... Oh. Someone's got a clothesline going. Whoa. You, uh, like, reach canyons that you can't pass, and it's like, oh, okay. I could go in there. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna do this quest first. You can't outrun me in my chocobo! My four-legged Chocobo. This is a perfect place for an ambush right here. This is right here. New location though, Nitria. Hello, person. Hello. Oh, okay. You are either very brave or very foolish. Setting foot back here. Nefertari, isn't it? A thousand blessings are long overdue. <laughs> <laughs> that was Rujek's wife. Did you expect anything less? This way, Bayek. And bring along your thousand blessings. You will need them. So is he not going to be punished by other people? I feel bad for her, but it had to be done. You look well, better than the last time I found you. Are you just better at killing now? Rujek was only the beginning. Yes, your hunt, the heron. Where are you taking me? To make amends with Anubis. Amends? I do not know what you're talking about. <laughs> of course, how could you? You left the moment you woke. You know, all the natron for Egypt is collected here. We send it mostly to Memphis to cover the bodies of the dead. Okay. 
Nitro mines. Oh, that's right. And didn't I accidentally me, set a oh, curse? Your no, you're unwell. Cracks and calluses are getting worse, David. Didn't I make a curse I or something? I will have you switched with someone at the pools. <laughs> that should provide some relief for a while. Yes, I think that would be Netron fair. has other uses, though. I could use it to disinfect a wound. Or wash the stains of blood off my hands, for example. Why are we... It looks better, Neb. I will have one of my aides bring something for the pain. And my brother? Recovering. He needs rest. You do not need to remind me. What? What happened? What? What do you want me to do? Why are so many of your people ailing? Because Anubis is displeased. Ever since you left, the torches by his shrines have lost their flame. We are no longer protected. From what? The wrath of Anubis? Whatever it is, we have suffered grave injuries trying to reignite them. Some have even vanished. It has become clear that Anubis demands your appeal oh. and yours alone. I'm surprised they aren't attacking me as I walk through town. If I'm the cause for a curse. Maybe I spilled blood where I shouldn't have? Ignite the torches and end this curse, or omen, or whatever it is. You would do well to, if you ever hope to appease Anubis and gain my pardon. Sophia, give some frankincense to the men at the pool, would you? Yeah, she doesn't like me. I don't need to tell you to be careful. There are three shrines. One to the south, one atop the natural well, and one inside the bent pyramid. You know your way to that one. Oh, I was already there. So these these uh, these quests kind of connect. Am I not? Okay. Wait, what? Like that, what? That was weird. I didn't want to fast forward time, but it was not letting me press the correct button. Maybe nighttime is better for this sort of a thing. Oh, okay. Something over here, though. Bandits? So, yeah, I was definitely Rujek's wife then. Who laid him to rest. But he was evil. But you, you still, you know, you love him, I guess. If you loved him, you loved him. Not much you can do about it. Are you you ready? Even if you knew he was a bad man, you can still be upset. Like, it, it's difficult being a human. But yeah, I didn't realize that they, they harvested this stuff from, like, these giant pools. The Natron? I didn't know much, much One about of the it. torches of Anubis should be here. So when I try to ignite it, what's going to happen? This torch has fallen over. Where's the head? Please don't. Oh, somebody died. Unfortunate. This fence is broken. Was there a struggle? Looks like it's all down there. Yep, somebody died. 
yikes, there's a sandal right there. It's not a pleasant death. There is blood here. Someone fell. Or was pushed. I wonder if it's the wife making things difficult for people who are trying to re- Like, she put out the Anubis torches. And... Atari was not exaggerating. This one died trying to light the torch. Um, okay. Oh, okay, it's a little farther. Down. There's the torch head. It must have fallen from the ledge when the torch was tipped over. So, it's either an actual curse, because the gods do exist in some form, I'm pretty sure, in Assassin's Creed. But, or it's Reject's wife wanting there to be a curse, basically, you know? Jumps. <sighs> this should do it. All I need to do now is light it. Light, please. Gatekeeper of the Duat. I honor your name. Ooh, it's a blue fire. Uh, my bad. Oh, my bad, Anubis. If you're the one angry, I apologize. <laughs> I apologize either way, honestly. It had to be done, but he was an evil man. It's like, does that give you the right? Yes, it does. I think, especially if like he killed your own family, like. But then I don't know, like then you, then you, you. It's it's like that whole thing when we killed um. The guy who was building that city, where it's like, have you just perpetuated a cycle of violence by doing this, by killing this man? But then again, the cycle of violence would have kept going because. You know, the guy would have killed a lot of more people, but... I'll go to this one, I guess. This one looks like there might be... a bandit fight or something. A hyat! What an odd city! It's like built in and around these pools. Like they're part of the architecture and like everything's like uh, working together sort of, which is cool. Ugh. There. We'll go a little faster with this. No, oh, just go. <laughs> We go slower in this form, though. Oh, there's hyenas. Whoa. Holy. Uh, level 25 hyena. Yikes. And a treasure. Whoa. A shrine. Uh oh. One of your torches must be here. Oh, that's right. I have a legendary weapon now. Come at me. Someone hung these. Blood on these linens? So someone tried to... Oh, hang on, I have... Fire bombs. Nope. 
Okay, there we go. They're coming for me! doing a lot of damage to him, unfortunately. my special ability. Well, I'm gonna run on out there and pick up whatever she dropped. She was a very high level. Ten leather. Nice. So, the torches seem to be in weird spots, I'll be honest. Like, why would you put the torch to Anubis all the way out here? Oopsie. Oh, I- oh! Oh, that's right, I have to- okay. Okay, I remember now, or I know now. Oh, crap. Treasure. Oh, this rotting meat gives off an attractive stench. Someone ah. will bring it to us here. So it's just been left there on purpose. So someone is trying to make things difficult. Because they are angry, maybe. Charms of Anubis. Someone has put these here, but why? Hmm. Gatekeeper of the Duat. I honor your name. That was no simple task. There are other forces at work here. Yeah. Is this a... 
Is this a dinosaur skeleton? This is a dinosaur skeleton. I'm pretty sure. Like a whale. I think. Cause like, I'm like, these are not like just normal rocks or something. These are, this is vertebrae. But they're huge. Oh my gosh! I wonder- Oh my gosh, if that's true, that'd be so cool. Oh crap. Like, the developers put in, like, was this something, like, is just something kind of cool that they put in? Like, oh yeah, it's just random dinosaur bones hanging out. Or like, does it have something to do with, like, the overall story or something? Like, that, you know, how the dinosaur is kind of placed in the Assassin's Creed, uh, meta, but... That's really cool! That, that was, that was, like... Or like a, a prehistoric. It's probably like a prehistoric. Not prehistoric. And oh my gosh! Okay, sorry, my dog's barking. But you know what I mean? Like one of those like ancient dinosaur whales. That they had. Whoa. I used to like look. I used to like look up those. There were a couple that I really liked that I can't remember off the top of my head, but they were ocean ones. The ocean is scary now, but just just woo, buddy. It used to be an even scarier place. <laughs> All right, so there's something else we have to do in this area that we were just in. No, I didn't mean to do that. No! Whoa. I think this is the one I have to go into. Because as we saw before, like... Unless you... Yeah, yeah, this is the one. Oh, it moved back somehow. Okay. Why is this- why is it in here? Is it supposed to be in here? Gatekeeper of the Duat. I honor your name. That is the last torch. I should return to Nefertari. Unless somebody tries to stop me and mess up all the work I did. But again, that woman... If, if she's also... If, she, if, if his wife is doing this and hurting innocent people because of Whoa. this... Oh wait, hang on, let's see. Because she's upset that I killed her husband. Like, that's kind of dumb. Like, punish me, sure. Don't punish other people. Look at these, how beautiful it is. If anybody else has been hurt, I'll be very upset. I think I can put my weapons away. Oh, there's Anubis. Hype. Hype. Anubis hype. Is everything okay? What news do you bring? The torches burn with a relentless flame. Then I pray Anubis will grant us pardon. There were charms left beside each one. Does that mean anything to you? Beside the torches? Most likely to ward off the omen. I will keep my eyes open. In the meantime, some rebels nearby need treatment. I normally make the trips, but I am needed here. Sufia has offered to go in my place, but only if you escort her. It will be done. Bayek, I hope this hunt of yours ends soon. Before you cannot return, 
from what you have become. And I mean well when they say that, you know, but it's like, still like, I'm not a monster, I'm the person. But it's like, I am the person I always have been, but it's like, no, you're not. You know, you, you, nobody's, nobody, ooh, look how shiny we are. Nobody is the same person they were, you know, ever. Even day to day, people can change. Oh, yeah. So I will be doing this. I am a little bit suspicious because that woman didn't like me. Uh, predator bow? Okay. Was this... Yeah. Hiding from an enemy in the dunes isn't as hard with this bow. It gives a little more confidence but does not prevent exhaustion and haze. haze. Oh, but it's blue, not purple. Blue, blue, no. We have... Oh yeah, I still need to get... I want to do that. One ability point. Probably nothing that I want at this point. Having a, dis a long distance poison dart would be nice. Let's see, what was... But I do want to get that, I think. For three points, aiming with your bow while in the air. This will be, it'd be so sick. Charm of Anubis. Charm of Anubis, the god of mummification, magic, and protector of the pyramids. It is often given as an offering to the god Anubis for protection against bad omens. So somebody was doing this stuff. Was was lighting was was was, was not allowing the 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 Anubis like torches to be lit, but somebody was trying to ward off the omen, the bad omen as well. They were just, maybe? Or, or maybe I'm not reading that quite correctly. But I think that's the impression I'm getting. Is that they were trying to ward off the super bad things, but trying to, like, uh, do... What, I mean, what would be the purpose be, then? Is just to be mad at Anubis? But I don't know. I don't know. It's weird. But yeah, I'll have to call this one here. I have no idea how long it went because of all the distractions that happened. Um, but thank you all so much for joining me. We'll probably pick up with the extra part of this quest when night falls. Uh, when we get back. But anyway, thank you again for joining me. I appreciate it, and I hope to see you in the next one.